back to my channel La Deutsche Vita life in Germany made in Germany thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time watching hi hope you stick with us subscribe there are so many more uh, videos coming so hey don't go anywhere okay stick with us so this video is what Miss Phoebe likes about Germany what I love about Germany and I've had experience in Germany over a decade and a half so I have a lot of things that I like I'm t I think I'm going to give you like my top 10 yeah let's make it 10 okay so let's start number one it's obviously the food me I love I love German food I've enjoyed it and I think um if you want to enjoy a place where you are in it's you have to start with the culture and for me I started with the German culture through the food then the language and the music the music I don't I don't like every all in fact the only German music I like is where they speak German and it's more of an R and B groove. Okay. So the I love that line of music and also the German food. I love schnitzel. I love my favorite would be schnitzel with kartoffel salad, but kartoffel salad with sem instead of essig. Um then I could take kartoffel salad with um mayonnaise with mayonnaise. I can, I can enjoy that <laughs> and I would definitely say I love um, Maltash it's one of my favorite I oh super I love German soup you know why because it's easy to make you put all your ingredients at once you close your snail cock top you time it you come back you open it and your soup is basically ready quick 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 you just had to um, Start and lift the soup to do the rest of the job and after 45 minutes your meat is soft and you can start eating you add your mouth fashion your um, noodle or whatever you want to add you add and with of course back epsom i love the back epsom in the soup um some fresh um petersilie or schnittlauch makes sense <laughs> yes i love german food and to be quite honest, I love the German language because it's a language that has posed itself as a challenge to me for the, for the past 15, 16 years. I wouldn't say it's difficult, I would say it's possible to learn, it's doable, but you discover every, every, you discover, now I'm even using a German syntax, you discover something new every week, every day. If you, if I open my phone now and I ask my phone, um, German word of the day, I ask my phone, the difference between the, 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 still, I always learn something new, okay? So it's still a learning process. People say I speak really well, but I don't have that feeling all the time. But yes, I, I love learning the language. I love speaking it. And especially, I love writing. So I, I'll just write something I'm reading it by myself to see um, where I would make mistakes and I love how it's just structured and exact and precise the language is very precise so there's a word for every situation you know in, in English we have words for multiple situations but not in German every word comes and um, every situation comes with a specific descriptive word verb adjective and whatnot and that's fun that is really fun and it makes German literature really good for me because it makes your imagination it's it makes it more um correct because it's you have the right words and it makes i just love the german language that's it the next thing i love would be how everything is structured so from the language to housing everything is done orderly there's a protocol to almost everything and sometimes if you're in a hurry and you want something done quickly it could get on your nerves but i think um I vibe with order. I vibe with structure. I, it's just my thing. I like things done orderly. So for that, I'm in the right place. I'm in the right country. Okay. You can't go wrong with that. One thing I like about Germany, I like and love about Germany is the German city. The German city is, as I said, <laughs> structured, but there's always an ancient part of the city where you would learn about the history and you can take beautiful amazing pictures you can take walks mostly after 5 p.m when all those shops downtown as in the city centers are mostly like in the ancient part of the cities when they've closed it's so serene you know you just take your walk you take your pictures 
you can do it in frankfurt in stuttgart you can do it in almost every city around okay so i love that i love the i just love touring the german cities around me and um even where i am there's so many of them and i live in the wine area i think the vineyard area how do you say that in english so vine belga you can just go out in, in 15 minutes you're in a completely different city with beautiful architecture where you take wonderful pictures nice hills beautiful views and in germany i think one part is like you have the city feel the urban and then in just 10 minutes drive you're in nature just all green around you and i love that so once um, you feel like, oh, I need to go out for some fresh, I want to go jogging, I want to go for a walk. It's easy to do, okay? And I love that. I really love that. Another thing I love about Germany is that there's always a free version of something. <laughs> and, um, for example, I just got an email today that I can start registering for the sports activities for the next month, for August. And I'm like, yes, I don't even have an excuse not to move, you know, you can, you can join a group, a small group. There is such a plethora of, of offers from, um, what, what, what did I sign up for? Zumba. And then we have, um, aerobics. You have, um, exercises for your back, uh, for your spine and, you know, so many things and it's all free. It's free, oh, it's free, free moto. And I love that aspect. So you don't always have to spend money. Um, you can go to the gym and pay your 30, 40, 50, 20 euros a month. But if you want to do something once a week, even up to five times a week, as long as the schedule works for you, and it's mostly in the evenings, for example, with this sports thing, um, there's always a free version, almost a free version of almost everything. And even if there's not a free version, it's always some way that you could save money and it's legal too you know so I love that and um, another thing that I like about Germany in, in connection with that is Geiz is geil Geiz is geil meaning um, basically that being frugal is cool it's, it's not frowned upon here Sparen is good, Sparen is schlaue. so saving money is a virtue <laughs> Being frugal is good, and you don't always have to be spending and showing off unnecessarily. Yeah, what you have, once it's enough for you, that's up to you. You don't have to justify it to anyone. And I love that vibe. I I love it. I really love it. So, um, I also love how students have a lot of privileges and advantages. For example, when it comes to public transport, you don't have to pay. Uh, pay full price. Another thing I like about Germany is the public transport. So traveling has made me know that this is not something I have to take for granted at all. <laughs> of course, in the rural areas, you wish, um, you'd wish you wish that the buses would come more often than just once an hour or twice an hour. But um, I understand that the demand there is not as high, so there's no need to, or uh, there's less motivation to make it more regular. But almost every city has one train station where at least once an hour the train stops so sometimes you just have to plan your connection well if you know that the train isn't that, that frequent in that area but apart from that almost everywhere especially in the big cities you have trains going every 10 minutes and even if it's not every 10 minutes once it's rush hour time so let's say between 3 p.m and 7 p.m for example trains are coming every 10 or 15 minutes and it's easier just because they know that they're serving a lot of people in those hours you don't necessarily um, need a car especially in the big cities because the trains and buses are just so many you you get home and at any point in time um, unfortunately in Sogad it's only on weekends that it, the, the S-Bahn runs throughout the night I think from Monday to Thursday it doesn't but even then at least when you go out for the night on the weekends you know you still get home somehow you know so yeah Public transport is effective, it works. That's definitely one thing that is a big, big plus. Another thing that I like about Germany is the social thing that everybody minds their business. Nobody has time to be thinking about you. Everybody wakes up. It's because everybody's busy. Wake up, go to work. If you see your neighbor, you say hi and keep it moving. 
I like that a lot because sometimes um, growing up in Ghana, I feel like sometimes our neighbors are too intrusive. They'll see me walking somewhere, they'll come and tell my mom. If they would even make the time to go rat me out. Ah, but come on, suffer. Yeah, everybody is busy. They mind their business and they keep it to themselves. Of course, the um, negative side of that would be that you you might be in trouble and nobody would realize it because you are at home and nobody would come and, and know or knock unless they are your friends. That is, of course, also a, a disadvantage of that. But generally, I like how everybody keeps themselves in mind, mind their business. I love it. One thing I love about Germany is the education system. The school system is really good. I had the, the privilege of doing my A-levels here, so I went to high school here. And it's it was, uh, let me just say the, the, the kern, um, the, the main aspect of the school system, as in what was um, given to me, the value of the school, was good it was really really good um thinking about it being a public school where you, we didn't have to pay fees actively we we're just paying for our books and of course extracurricular activities um like when you would go on shulan time or on, or on field trips and all of that of course that your parents would have to pay or she didn't fart and all of that but the basic um, teaching or the basic education that we're getting had a high value and we're making experiment. I remember they brought a whole pig to class for us to dissect and that pig was stinking and easy. Oof. That pig wasn't smelling pleasant. But I enjoyed, you know, playing with the, <laughs> with the lug. I, I remember the parallel class, they had they did something with the eye or something, and we had the lungs. So, um, yeah, all these experiments that we did, they made learning more interesting. And um, if you watched my previous video about um, school life in Germany, what I was doing, I did the language profile. So I was doing ancient Latin, ancient Greek, um, Spanish, French, and of course English. And today, I've realized that it was actually a great foundation in knowing what I like and what I didn't like, you know, and knowing that I'm more of a reader, a reading, I'm, I'm, I'm more with the reading subjects than with the science, with all the calculations and experiments. I found out all of this through school, so I would say that, excuse me, I would say that if you are in German school, in high school, Realschule, Gymnasium, Nutz ist bitte aus, genieß diese Phase. Finde heraus, was, um, was, was du magst, was dich bewegt, was dir gefällt. Weil in diesen Jahren sind es eigentlich schon deine Lieblingssachen, die du schon jetzt, jetzt schon genießt. And ja, um, yeah. just take advantage of it and enjoy it. Okay, because not all countries give um, children this good um, education, basically for free. All right, so if you happen to be here, take advantage of it yeah i love german cars <laughs> i could i could i could not end this video without saying that so guys i love germany as a whole because i grew up here there are a lot of things that i love here and i'm just going to say this that there are lots of things that i do not like but the things i love and i like definitely outweigh the ones i do not like right so we come to the end of today's video hope you like this Give me a thumbs up if you did. Comment, let me know what you think. What do you like about Germany? What do you want to know about Germany? Let me know, oh, let me know. Stay safe, guys, and see you same time next week. Tschüss.